snacks. What it do, snackers and snackers? It's your boy Gage. This Let's go. is W H H W. By myself, but I got your back. My man, I appreciate you. I appreciate mm -hmm. you. This is last week's news. Just in case you missed it, uh, without any further ado, we gonna do hook me up, Sam. Number one. Like, see, I like how you did that. I like how you just leaned right into it. Guess what we got? Two trailers. Hellboy. Men in Black International. All right, let's talk about both. Men in Black. Sin, not feeling it. No, sir, I don't like it. Not at all. Not a little bit. Okay. Not a scoop. Okay, okay. Not. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hellboy. How you feeling? Mm, yeah, I need I'm to not. see more. Okay. That's interesting to me. I feel kind of the reverse. So, Men in Black looks to me like Men in Black. Like, it just looks like a Men in Black film. It doesn't look any worse than one. It doesn't look any better than one. It looks like it's going to have some good action and some decent comedy. And truthfully, I am interested in the idea of Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson kind of getting the opportunity to rekindle the energy that I felt like they had in Thor Ragnarok. So I think it's interesting that they're pairing the two of them together. I like the idea of them pairing the two of them together because I, I just really did dig the energy that they had in Ragnarok. Now, whether or not that translates to this film, I don't know. But partially since it's also leaning down, it's an action slash comedic film, which is what Thor Ragnarok was. I feel like the energy will be the same. And I think there's going to be some surprises. I need to see another trailer before I know that I'm like all in right now. I'm digging the vibe, but I'm not taking a walk just yet. You know what I mean? Now, Hellboy, man, I didn't like this at all. I wasn't feeling this at all. Like, okay. I, can, I couldn't get past Hellboy. I was like, you're not. Like, Ron was so good at it. You know what I'm saying? And, he, and, and, and let's be real, looked like him. That's so just it's mean, just. But you're right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He, okay, look, here's where I'm at. I am all for trying to give a reboot a different kind of energy, right? If 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 they had come out and they were just doing Hellboy kind of like we had already seen it, then it would almost be like, what's the point? Unless you're just going to go like way gorier or something like that. Um, however... The extremely comedic take, at least as it's presented in this first trailer, um, to me personally is off-putting. I know there's going to be action, I know there's going to be fighting and things like that, and there'll be other stuff to it, but this seems to be leaning heavier. There, was, there were comedic moments in the first two Hellboy movies, both of which I enjoyed. This just, this first introduction to it, to me, is like... What are you doing? Why are you... It's not even... You know what? I know what they're doing. My question actually is, why are you doing that? Like, I'm okay if you're doing something different, but why are you doing that? And I just feel like it's leaning a little too heavily um, into, in, into the comedic side of it. So, I'm on the fence. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Hook me up, sir. Number two. All right, listen. In the world that we exist in, pop culture kind of things, crossovers are, they're not, they become normal. Like, we always get excited when they happen. But this right here, Star Trek and Transformers, we need to talk about this for a moment. Because what happened was, IDW is producing a crossover comic series with Star Trek and Transformers and in the most recent issue Kirk and his team yep it's the the original USS Enterprise team that we know right Kirk and Spock and crew are trapped in a cave with the Autobots there's a lot of other story that happens before that that's not really important right now What's important is that the moments that transpire while they're trapped in this cave so that they can find their way out lead to the Enterprise becoming a Transformer. Hmm? 
Oh, you heard me. A Transformer. So, the Autobots come down on Fortress Maximus, which, if you're a Gen 1 or you, you know what Fortress Maximus is, but it is a huge, like, city sized Transformer. Um,. So much larger than the normal Transformers that you've seen even in the films and so forth. And it's basically non-operational in the condition that they're in. There's a mind meld that Spock does with Optimus Prime so that he knows that the Autobots are good guys. And then there's basically an idea to get out which is let's hook Kirk's mind up to Fortress Maximus. Which they do. And by doing so, they are able to get out. They're able to get the ship going and get out, okay? And basically, Fortress Maximus turns into the Enterprise. And when they get out, it transforms into a Transformer. So it's no longer Fortress Maximus. It is now Fortress Tiberius, named after the middle name of one Captain Tiberius Kirk listen love it or hate it it's still pretty awesome uh, you can see the images I think it's dope I don't know where you stand on it sin it uh, probably doesn't matter I know you don't like Star Trek I'm I'm, I'm not say I don't like it I'm just you know whatever it's Star yeah, Trek but whatever. you like Transformers oh yeah yeah you like Gen 1 all day my man I mean all day my man uh, I just thought y'all should know that and see it because I think it's 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 pretty awesome and I like a good crossover like that and I'm sure a lot of people didn't know that that was happening. So now you know. Number Hook me three. up. Number three. Number three, as usual, is the hookup. And this time the hookup is our good buddy, Joe Palumbo. Now, Joe is an awesome artist. Um, does some gallery work. We run into Joe. We have run into Joe at multiple cons. Uh, and is an all around good guy. I think that you should go follow Joe at Joe Palumbo. Uh, it's on the screen. That makes it easy. Uh, so you can see some awesome work. Uh, he had been running a deal or two. Um, but you should definitely check his work out. I got this awesome Spider Man piece from him. Um, of course, because it's Spider Man. So. That's kind of how you do. Make sure you check out Joe. Make sure after you check Joe out, you make sure you're following us across all social media uh, at Loading Snacks. That makes it easy. And uh, make sure you're checking out our Patreon. Uh, we got some behind the scenes things that you can't get anywhere else except on Patreon. Uh, as well as things like Ask Us Anything. Stuff like that. So make sure you're checking that out. With that, I'm going to slide this way. It's time to wrap it up. Toodles and loops.